it's Gary from GNH Honeybees. It's February 28th, 2019, and I'm just going to do a quick video here on how I put my frames together. So as you can see, I've got my top bar here, and I take a little bit of uh, LePage's wood glue, and I just paint a little strip of glue in there with an old artist paintbrush. I do the other end. And then I take the foundation. No, don't take the foundation first. Put a little bit of glue in the other ends of the end pieces. Now I take the foundation. Put the foundation in. Take the bottom bar. Put them together like so. And have this cheap uh, staple gun that I got from the local hardware store. Cost me like $49.99. And all I'm going to do is put a single staple in each end. Then I flip it over. Sure, that's all the way down. And I have a found a frame ready to go. Quick and simple as that. I noticed that these new frames that I just purchased have a split along here, and the only reason I can figure out why that's in there is uh, because. If you ever want to change the plastic foundation, you can probably peel that little piece of wood out, change the foundation, and then staple that back in. So I'm going to carry on with the rest of these frames, and I will continue on a little later with um, my waxing process. All right, talk to you again soon. So this is my um, setup for melting beeswax and uh, painting new uh, plastic frames. So as you can see there I have a, an acrylic style paintbrush and I just have a pot with some water in it and then an 8 quart um, Pyrex uh, jug just to withstand the heat. And I just heat the water up enough so that the, the beeswax melts. And once it's all melted, I will um, show you how I do a frame. So we'll be back shortly. So as you can see, I've got the wax is melted down. And I've got the brush in there getting it softened up. Wax was really dirty. I'll show you that in a second here. So because it was a lot of cappings and old wax comb, there was a lot of propolis and dirt in the in the wax. So I just ran it through some cheesecloth first to get the dirt out of it. And now it's clean enough to use for painting the frame. So I'll show you what I do with these frames. It's a very quick and simple process. Just take the brush and brush it on. And it doesn't matter if you get it on the wood. It just seems to help enhance the, the smell, I guess.
There, quick and easy. So if you look at those cells, you see that they're kind of messed up now, instead of being perfect from the, uh, the way the plastic was made. And it's my belief that the bees don't like the plastic ones because it either doesn't smell right or there's something about the cells that they don't like. But as soon as you put wax on them, I just think that they think the cells are all messed up and they have to repair them. So they go to work on them right away and uh, fix them up and draw them out. So for new beekeepers, don't make the mistake I made last summer. I, uh, in my new boxes, because all my equipment was new, I simply put the plastic frames in there and the bees simply did not touch them. They uh, sort of walked around on them a little bit, but they didn't bother drawing them out. So I went for like six to eight weeks before I found out that they should be painted and as soon as I painted some of the frames and put them in the boxes the bees went to work on them right away and within four days they had four plastic frames completely drawn out so it seems to make a big difference so if you're a new beekeeper and you got new equipment this is what you should be doing to your frames before you put them in if you're going to use plastic so that's all I have for you today I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.